History of the Horse, Part 1, The Origins of Equus. Meet Condylarth of the family Condylarthi. They were found in the early Eocene force 55 to 33 million years ago, when the earth was much warmer than today, but was probably more evenly distributed. Condylars are the forefathers of many of the mammals we have today, and were the first to evolve hoof-like extremities. Next came the Hyracotherium, also known as Eohippus, or the Dawn Horse, an extinct genus of the very small Hyracotherium who averaged 2 feet in length and 8 to 14 inches high at the shoulder and weighed about 50 pounds. It had four hoof toes on each front foot and three hoof toes on each hind foot. Each toe had a pad on its underside, similar to those of a dog. It had a short face with eye sockets in the middle and a short space between the front teeth and the cheek teeth, what we call the bars on modern day horses. The skull was long, having 44 low crown teeth. Although it had low crown teeth, the beginnings of the characteristic horse-like ridges on the molars can be seen. Hyracotherium is believed to have been a browsing herbivore that ate mostly soft leaves as well as some fruits, nuts, and plant shoots. Thank you for watching. To learn more, join us.